We're here with Jacob Semko, and uh, he's an artist and a printmaker. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Well, so tell us how this all started for you. How it all started for yes. me. Yes. Um, uh, in 1998, I took my first printmaking class as a university student, as a first year university student. And I didn't really understand what printmaking was or what it was all about. Um, but I went to the class and I took notes and um, I followed them studiously. It's, it's kind of like you know, cooking, you have to have a list of ingredients and a list of instructions. And I took all the notes and I, I didn't really fully understand what I was doing, but I went through the process. And I remember I went in one evening to work in the lab and I was at the press and I had done everything on my notes, not really sure what was, what was happening. And I remember running the piece of paper and the plate through the press. And I remember coming out and lifting up the piece of paper and seeing a reverse image of what I had created on the plate, on my paper. And I remember looking up and all the hair on the back of my neck and my arms stood up. <laughs> and I thought, oh my, this is something else. And I think it was one of those moments where you just, you become addicted. Mm -hmm. and it, it was, eureka moment. It was a eureka moment, it <laughs> truly was. Uh -huh. And that turned into um, an undergraduate degree, a graduate degree in teaching and having art as a professional practice. So are you teaching now? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, I yes. Am. Yeah. So you have your own studio, your own? I have my own studio at home and I also teach at the University of Saskatchewan. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you're teaching printmaking? That's uh, correct, yes. Awesome. Yeah. So I see, is this a print? This is a print, yes. Okay, so yeah. this is, what is this? I'll let you explain it. So this is, this is what we call, this is a woodcut print. Um, so what I do is I start off with a, um, a block of wood. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a blank block of wood and, and I draw a picture on it. Okay. Uh, after the picture has been drawn, I, uh, I take any one of a series of tools, uh, sharp tools that are very sharp that have a, um, a very sharp end on it and it has a, either a, a curve or a gouge or, a, or an exacto blade. And what I do is I, I physically, with my hands, carve and remove areas of the wood. Okay. So I basically am making a stamp mm -hmm. on a block of wood. Mm -hmm. After I've carved everything, I take um, uh, a little rubber roller with some ink and I roll up and I apply ink to the surface of, 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 the, um, of the wood. After which um, I put a piece of paper on top and you can either run it through a printmaking press or you can take a, a special tool called a baron. This is a Japanese baron. There's actually bamboo leaves that are stretched over a disc. Mm. And what you do is you take a piece of paper, you apply it to the surface of the block, and you burnish and you rub the back of it. Oh, interesting. What happens then is all of the ink from the block transfers onto the piece of paper, and you get an image in reverse that looks like the block that you carved. Well, maybe I'll so, hold. I'll yeah. hold one up, and you can hold the yeah. other. So this is the image of the block. But, Wonderful. So it looks something like that. And it looks exact. <laughs> it's it's a, an exact reverse. Yeah. So it always print backwards. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of ink is that? It's an archival oil-based ink. Mm -hmm. um, and what the exact ingredients are, I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> but it's just an ink. It's yes, it's a it's an ink. Yeah. An ink. Yeah. Very fascinating. So you were saying this was made the same way, the same uh, process? The same process when you carve a block of wood, um, mm -hmm. only instead of one block of wood um, and one printing, um, what I would do is I would draw the initial image, I would carve a little bit, I would roll it up with a very light colored ink, and I'd print 10 mm -hmm. copies. Okay. I would then go ahead and I'd take that same block of wood and I would carve more areas away, and then I'd roll it up with a darker ink and print it on top again, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So this probably has eight or nine printings oh, on it to okay. achieve that depth mm -hmm. and that value okay. and, that, and, that, and that sense of space. That makes sense. Yeah. So this is a, a very special picture because it's in Saskatoon. Where is that? Um, I believe that is the Broadway Bridge on the uh -huh. Besborough side looking um, across the street and I don't know the name of the park of it mm -hmm. off the top of my head. But so. I love the bridges in Saskatoon mm -hmm. and As do I. Saskatoon is the city of bridges so this is a beautiful, beautiful print. Yes, thank you. Well done, well done. So you say you're teaching at the university. Yes. Uh, what class are you teaching? Um, I've been teaching there since 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, so this will be my 13th year teaching and I teach everything from uh, basic drawing, uh, figure drawing classes to printmaking. Mm -hmm. So I teach uh, intro to printmaking which covers woodcut processes, lithography, screen printing and etching. Mm -hmm. So there's four major areas that, um, that, we, that we teach there. And what class is that? It's uh, it's referred to it's as Art 151 and Art 152, mm -hmm. so it's Intro to Printmaking Media. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, I can tell by the way you're describing, you're a natural teacher. Do you like teaching? I do. I've taught. Um, I spent a year teaching in the Midwest of the United States. I've spent time teaching in Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, 
I spent a year teaching in Ireland, I spent half a year teaching in China, and it was always printmaking or, or art classes. Mm -hmm. So I've, I do enjoy teaching. Yes. So that's your favorite is printmaking, or can you do other art besides printmaking? I can try, but not as good. Not as good. <laughs> not, not as well. So yeah. do you sell your work? I do. Um, uh -huh. I used to be represented by galleries. Uh, mm -hmm one in uh, Saskatoon, and then I had one in Ontario as well. Mm -hmm. um, but that uh, ended about six or eight years ago, and I decided to go back to school, and mm -hmm. I went to trade school, and I did a um, cabinet-making carpentry trade. Oh. So um, at home, I have a studio where I make my prints, and then I have a shop where I build custom furniture as mm. well. And so you have probably some unique pieces. You're probably not your ordinary cupboards. <laughs> Every, everything is unique, individual for the client. So mm -hmm. it's custom. So um, I'll take the measurements. My wife does the design, and then I fabricate it. Okay. Um, I find it much similar to the printmaking process. Um, mm -hmm. Always designing, using your hands, using tools. Mm -hmm. So you're a full-time artist then, working at something that you love, I'm, obviously. I'm a full-time parent and then uh, a part-time artist, <laughs> part-time <laughs> yes. 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 But it's wonderful and, and you're creating. So let's talk about, you have a show though, right yes, now. Yes, I do. I do have a show. Um, it's at uh, Musée Ukrainiana on mm -hmm. Avenue M. And um, uh, it was curated and there was um, uh, by Anna Mycinic. And it's uh, a collection of prints she selected that I've created over the last 13 or 14 years. Mm -hmm. So um, there's four different bodies of work that are represented, mm -hmm. uh, some of which are from, that I created while I was living in the Midwest of the United States. Some were created uh, while I was living in Ireland. Some were created while I was living in Ontario. And some were created right here in Saskatoon mm -hmm. um, in, uh, in my studio here. So you have a lot of training, a lot of experience, yes. really eclectic if you've traveled a lot and, yes. and worked with other people, yes, right? Yes, that's correct. For yes. sure. Yeah. And are you continuing to take classes and, and, and learn, or are you just self-learning as, as it continues you on? Know, the older I get, the more I realize how little I know. <laughs> yeah, that happens. You know, really, I, I can really relate to that. Truly. So um, I'm always exploring and, and trying new ideas mm -hmm. and new techniques. Mm -hmm. um, and But it's always bouncing around within within the printmaking medium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about how people can get a hold of you if they would like to get something made or, or get one of your prints. Absolutely. Um, you can email me and we can set up a, a time to come and visit the studio and, and take a look around and see some of my new pieces. My email address is jacob.semko, S-E-M-K-O, at usask.ca. So what are some of the new projects that you're working on? Uh, I'm doing a series of etchings, of uh, photographic etchings of the uh, downtown landscape. Mm -hmm. So I've been working on those. Um, and I'm always taking on uh, small commissions, uh, custom furniture projects, bookshelves, mm -hmm. fireplace mantles, chairs. Um, so I, I try and balance half with art and half with uh, doing custom work as well. Mm -hmm. So where does your inspiration come from? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, for sure. Yes. Uh, I have, I've, I, I've never had a problem coming up with ideas or inspiration. And the hard part is trying to narrow them down and choose just one. Mm -hmm. I've, I, I don't think I'll ever sit there and think I'm bored or I, I, what, what do I do next? It's, mm -hmm. okay, which one do I get to do now? Yes, so. yes. And that's very important because ideas are flowing and then you have to respond to those ideas. Mm -hmm. And I could tell that you do a beautiful job. I wish I had as much time as I do ideas. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But mm -hmm. you're doing a wonderful job and you have a beautiful gift. And that's why I wanted to have you on my show because oh. you rock. Because I believe firmly, I firmly believe that every one of us has gifts and talents and we should develop them and share them with the world because we'd have a different world, wouldn't we, if everyone developed what they're good at? Well, they say talent is pursued passion, and I've been very fortunate, had very supportive parents and grandparents that allowed me to do that. Okay. And if, if, if it wasn't for them to set the foundation and allow me to pursue passion, um, there wouldn't be any talent here today. Well, <laughs> so it, it's come through genetics a little bit. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> well, that's really wonderful. And uh, congratulations on your show. Thank you. And again, remind people where the show was at. It's at the um, Musée Ukrainiana. It's on Avenue M and 20, uh, one block in on the corner of Avenue M and 20th Street. Mm -hmm. And it's open uh, Sundays from 11.30 a.m. until 4.00. And after June, it's uh, Thursdays, I believe, 11 till 4 as well. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you again for being on my show. You rock and wonderful job and thank beautiful you. art. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you enjoyed today's show with Amanda Salodro with Prairies North and Home Magazine and artist Jacob Semko.
If you'd like to share your story, contact me and tell me why you rock. Thanks for rocking in and having a conversation with Marion. I'm Marion, and you rock. <laughs>